The past two V2 launches have been memorable, but they have also revealed significant issues like coolant leaks and oxidation. These are issues we certainly don't want to see again. With the introduction of the V3 design on S39, SpaceX appears to have implemented substantial improvements aimed at addressing these vulnerabilities and paving the way for more advanced missions in the future. So how has SpaceX refined the Starship V3 heat shield? Let's dive into it all in today's episode of NR Studio. Between 2025 and 2026, SpaceX fans will experience more than just a new year. This time frame marks one of the most significant shifts in the Starship initiative to date, as the company transitions from the V2 model to the promising V3 version. During this upgrade phase, the spacecraft itself takes center stage, with the upper stage of Starship taking the spotlight, as it highlights the most significant challenges of previous iterations while also achieving significant milestones. An early example of this new chapter is S39, currently being prepared in Mega Bay 2. Even on its first public launch, its refueling equipment wowed many with its marked advancements and improvements. However, beyond these key systems, there was one other area that underwent a significant overhaul. This area concerned the heat shield. So what exactly had changed? The signs were clear just weeks before S39 was fully assembled. As its various components were transported to Mega Bay 2, the heat shield tiles looked remarkably different from those on previous vehicles. Observers who had been following each launch noted that the tiles appeared clean, uniform, and precisely aligned. The gaps appeared much smaller, the surfaces were smoother, and the adhesive between the tiles appeared stronger and more consistent. This trend was consistent across every section delivered to the bay, and once S39 reached full assembly, the improvements became even more apparent. The entire heat shield appeared cohesive and smooth, instilling a sense of confidence. This improvement was especially significant considering the difficulty SpaceX had encountered with the V2 heat shield. On the last two Starship missions, both significant successes, the spacecraft successfully navigated the most challenging aspects of re-entry and remained intact long enough to reach its destination. However, after those missions, visible signs of damage began to appear. Large sections of the heat shield showed white and orange markings. The white marks indicate coolant leaks, likely caused by intense heat penetrating gaps between tiles or between tiles and underlying structures. The orange marks indicate oxidation that occurred when the coolant reacted with the metal test tiles used on the V2 spacecraft components. Together, these challenges underscore the weaknesses that still needed addressing, particularly in a variant intended mainly for evaluation. Currently, the demands for V3 have changed significantly. This iteration must excel in essential mission-critical functions, allowing almost no margin for mistakes. This is why redesigning the heat shield holds such significance. The primary enhancement is its thoroughness. S39 seems to feature a complete, uninterrupted tile arrangement. Although some areas show signs of absent tiles, it is highly probable that these represent locations where installation has simply not yet finished. For the first time, it appears that a fully developed heat shield is in place, reflecting the ultimate design intent. This permits SpaceX to assess the overall system at peak function and recognize any remaining issues that require fine-tuning. The second enhancement concerns the tile design itself. Musk had indicated earlier that the V3 generation would include an entirely revamped structure, which encompasses the heat shield tiles. SpaceX may have modified the tile compositions, enhanced the materials, or introduced new components to minimize cracking and avert damage during the intense heating phases of re-entry. The methods of attachment also seem to have been upgraded. Tile loss was a concern in earlier missions, particularly when severe vibrations and heat occurred together. The new attachment design likely seeks to secure the tiles more robustly while still permitting controlled expansion in response to heat. Then there's the matter of spaces between tiles. During Flight 11, SpaceX tested the crunch wrap technique to minimize the gaps between tiles, which had contributed significantly to prior heat shield problems. Although that method demonstrated encouraging results, it was not entirely flawless. V3 will very likely implement an advanced version that better seals these gaps while still permitting the necessary flexibility during extreme temperature fluctuations. One of the most notable visual improvements is the enhanced bonding at the corners of the tiles. Observing Ship 39's tile configuration reveals small white filler points where three tiles converge. These seem to be strengthened bonding agents aimed at eliminating micrograps that previously allowed heat to infiltrate the underlying cooling system. 
these minor enhancements collectively signify a substantial advancement in dependability. All of this elevates expectations tremendously for the inaugural V3 mission. The heat shield of S-39 is more than a mere upgraded part. It signifies the next crucial advancement towards a completely reusable and fully dependable starship. And that future is on the horizon. With Ship 39 now completely assembled, its production stage is effectively done. The forthcoming steps are vital. The vehicle is set to undergo cryogenic tests, subjecting the heat shield end structure to extremely low temperatures to ensure that the tiles remain secured and stable. Next, static fire tests will be conducted, which will expose the spacecraft to intense heat and vibration. These phases will likely begin as early as the end of this month and continue into next. The real test will follow. Flight 12, targeted for launch in January, will subject the V3 heat shield to the full intensity of atmospheric re-entry. This shield will face temperatures, pressures, and aerodynamic stresses exceeding those experienced during ground tests. Are you excited to see the first performance of the enhanced Starship V3 heat shield? If so, please say, of course, in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on SpaceX's journey. The long-term significance of the Starship heat shield goes far beyond a single test flight. It serves as a critical support that allows the Starship upper stage to safely return and is crucial to achieving the level of total rocket recovery that SpaceX has envisioned from the beginning. This recovery strategy involves more than just a splashdown in the ocean. The focus is on returning Starship intact so it can be captured, reinserted into the launch rotation, and prepared for its next mission with maximum efficiency. This is at the heart of SpaceX's ambition for a truly repeatable and cost-effective launch system. Achieving this milestone will set Starship apart from every other launch vehicle currently in development. Many companies still rely on disposable rockets, either because minimizing costs isn't their primary goal or because they haven't yet developed the technology to create a fully reusable system. Even vertical landing of a single stage remains a significant hurdle. SpaceX has achieved this with two separate recovery methods. Falcon rockets land on drone ships stationed at sea, while the Starship project seeks to utilize the Mechazilla arm for direct capture, eliminating the need for landing legs and simplifying the overall recovery process. Only one other company, Blue Origin, has successfully landed a booster on a drone ship. However, this achievement comes after 25 years of development, and they still have a long way to go before they can achieve the record-breaking reliability, cadence, and performance that SpaceX has demonstrated with Falcon. Even then, the new Glenn system is still not partially reusable, meaning its long-term efficiency will never fully reach the capabilities that Starship will achieve once it becomes fully reusable. Of course, recovery is only one aspect of this equation. Actual reusability depends on the effectiveness of the heat shield during re-entry. The tiles must keep Starship in good condition for quick and easy repairs. That's it for today's episode. See you in the next time.